You know what time is it? It's time to stop. It's time to stop. What's up, everyone? So, on today's video, we're gonna make this digital analog clock from cardboard. If you think this video is sucks, you can go away, don't watch this video, and click the dislike button. Okay, first thing you will need a cardboard, and then expand it. After you expand the cardboard, find the white side of the cardboard. After that, find the center point and mark it. Mark the center point of the cardboard for the analog clock. Make sure it's precise and centered. And then make a double dot for the digital clock seconds LEDs. And then you can draw rectangles for the segments. For the dimensions, I just use LED strip dimensions. Make sure you measure and calculate the dimension of each segment so you can maintain the preciseness. And then you can cut everything out. Clean the edge on every segment with skew source. So before we continue the, uh, cutting the cardboard, you will need a digital clock that can be powered by 5V DC or USB power supply. And then we should open the digital clock first because before you putting all LED together, uh, you should need to know what the common is. So here is the seven segment. If your seven segment PCB doesn't have a pin lettering like this one. Maybe you should google it for uh, pinouts like this and you should comb the 7 segment pins on your clock on mine is has 12 pin instead of 14 so here is the common pin uh, there is D1, D2, D3, and D4 because the 7 segment has 4 digits and I will using Arduino to find what the common pin is uh, maybe it's anode or cathode uh, so here is the example of common anode and common cathode in on the seven segment so if your seven segment has common anode it will uh, the wiring LED will like this and if you had the common cathode one the LED will looks like this and here's the wiring if you confuse maybe a little bit but actually this is not that hard so I will begin testing this uh, 7 second on the Arduino it has 3.3 volt DC so you can test it using AA batteries or 3 volt power supply make sure it's not more than 3 volt so here's the positive one maybe it's kinda hard and here's the negative and it's light up my seven segment is a common anode one so here is my seven segment so i will wiring up 
the LED strip because I will use LED strip wearing like this and connect it all together to this board I'm very lucky and because there is a pin lettering on the board so I'm not confused about wearing the LED I think that's enough let's continue cutting I forget to say uh, this LED strip needs 12 volt DC so because it has series connection on this strip and it has resistor on it so the circuit will be looks like this so because the connection are using series connection so we need to change it into parallel connection and it looks like this so sorry for bad drawings you need to modify this LED strip by uh, shorting removing this resistor and flipping this LED on the middle so the resistor will be removed and short the pin on the resistor and maybe you need to uh, read the circuit on the strip or flexible and here's the negative pin it goes directly to the LED and from the LED into the resistor from the resistor into the LED and the LED into the LED so here's 12 volt positive and from this one a negative LED goes directly to this so this one is positive on the top will be flipped into the negative because it's negative and this is positive goes directly to resistor so we'll need to remove or short this pin on the resistor and on the positive right here connect it to the positive pin on the right side so let's begin Prepare some popsicle stick for the divider for each segment and it can be act as LED holder. Cut all of those popsicle stick and you need to make sure it has same length of segment holes. After that you can glue all of those popsicle stick and do what I do like on the video. Add glue into the cardboard and then wrap it with paper or anything that you want. So it's kinda make it better than before. After you finish uh, wrapping the cardboard, you can solder all of those LED strip and LED into the matrix connection with four common pins.
use the power bank board and the battery for the backup battery and remove the USB socket. Make a voltage divider for the analog clock mechanism. I use 100 ohm and 330 ohm resistor. After that, you can solder everything up. And then making a side panel followed by mounting all of those switches on the side. Before you glue the back panel, you should find the balance point first for making nail hole. If you are making one nail hole, after you find the balance point, you can mark it on the top. And then glue the back panel and start making a nail hole. That's it for this project guys. If you like this video, just hit that like button. But if you hate it, I already told you before. If you want more about DIY project or something, just get subscribed and hit that notification bell icon. Thanks for watching.